And finally, we are going to go over using the modulus operator with our if statements. Now, you might remember the modulus operator. It's just uh, this percent sign here. And we used it, or we uh, went over it in lesson one, but we haven't really had a chance to use it for anything yet. It is just a simple um, arithmetic operator, but it has some very uh, powerful functionality with uh, if statements or conditional logic. So we're going to go over that really quick. Uh, just to cover, uh, the modulus operator will give you the remainder of the division between two numbers. So if I have this num and it is equal to 8 uh, modulus 6, modulus is going to divide the number on the left by the number on the right. So you can think of it as numerator, denominator, and it's going to return the remainder of that division. So if we look at this, we're going to see that uh, 6 goes into 8 one time, and it leaves a remainder of 2 when the division's done. So if I print num, that value is going to come up as 2. Now, doesn't seem like it'd be a super powerful thing with respect to uh, print statements, but let's go ahead and uh, let's say if I said 1 equals and let's go input int input and let's just say please enter a number and I'm going to set another number to equal to let's not do that yet let's do this let's say if uh, If 1 modulus 2 equals 0, then we can print, uh, let's go 1 is even, exclamation point that, because that's super important. So... If I run this and I put in an even number like 8, 8 is even. But if I put in 11, I get nothing printed back. So we would probably want to put this into a Boolean variable. This would be a good candidate right here because this doesn't look like something that I want to type uh, twice, nor do I want to try to deal with putting a not operator on it. So let's just get it into a variable real quick. And we're checking to see whether or not it's even. So we can call it even. And we'll set even equal to that. And then I can just say if even. So if the number is even, print that it's even. And I'm going to just copy this one. And you're already starting to see how having Boolean variables can make our lives quite a bit easier. And uh, let's say if it's not even, let's say that it's odd. And so now I'll enter a number. Let's go 8 again. And then it'll say 8's even. But now if I put in 11 instead of printing nothing, it'll say 11 is odd. So let's take this even a step further. Let's say I had a number 2, and that's also equal to int input please enter a second let's go let's go a second number a little bit lighter and instead of having one I can do let's call it call it one plus two so if the sum of 1 plus 2 results in an even number, uh, then we'll put it in here and see what happens. Uh, so just to reiterate, I'm adding these two together. And if I divide by 2 and I get a remainder of 0, that means 2 divided evenly into whatever's over here. 
which means I have an even number on this side of the percent sign. So that works uh, with what we had before as well. So then you can see, I'm going to enter 8 and 5. And actually, I have to put uh, here on this, I have to put 1. Can I do 1 plus 2? And then also plus 2. And if I do that, 8 and 9, and that adds up to 17, which is odd. So it gives me back 17 is odd because I want the actual sum there because that's what I'm checking whether or not it's odd. And if I put in an even one, I could put in uh, 5 and 9 which comes out to 14 and that's even. So a couple of things, you can see the real power of the modulus operator uh, with an if statement. And you can also see uh, how much it can help you out logically to take your entire Boolean expression and just put it into a variable. So that way, uh, when we get down here and we need to take the opposite with the not operator, or even just setting up the if statement to just even sound a little bit more like English and make our logic easier to deal with. If it's even print this, if it's not even print that. And with that, we can start our labs and I look forward to seeing your work.